us about the Apple prints and working on that production and and really what's gone into it like you know the rehearsals the planning can you talk a little bit about that please yeah um, it's a lengthy process what we're doing here because um, it kind of starts as this amorphous idea particip uh, participle that's floating around um, and then you know we we're brainstorming all these different ideas and it's kind of like when we're finishing up one show then this idea emerges and then we start to foster it and if the whole group if it kind of latches on and so we had this idea oh we want to do a show about toys and monsters and we want the toys and the monsters to battle each other and I don't know where the idea came from but once it was mentioned everybody was like yeah that that's a good idea and it just sounded really fun and then so it kind of starts as, as basically just a concept and everybody starts to come up with an idea like oh I want to play this character and I oh, oh I want to play this character and Brandon who had already written a previous script got really excited about the concept and started writing a script so once he had written the script we sort of you know all get together and we read through the script and we have to like look at okay what are the parts who's going to play what part you know some of the parts have already been assigned because people have talked to Brandon in the process and said oh here's this part I want to play and here's this character and they give them the idea so it's a very like every stage of the process is very interactive so the script was written and then from there we take that script and we start to delineate okay these are the characters and then people go off into their respective roles and they start to come up with choreographies so then that's like probably a month of just coming up with choreography writing the choreography playing out the choreography um, and while we're playing out the choreography then you know we're thinking about costuming and we're thinking about not just the choreography in the dance sense but choreography in the sense of the theatrics and the staging of things and how are these characters going to interplay with the main character and things like that. So that's the, the piece where we're starting to formulate the interactions of all of the different movements of the piece. And during that process then we're also creating all of the visual capital such as um, infrastructure for the set design and animations for the projection screen so that's all happening simultaneously and so the way we do that is that we have different groups um, we have like a choreography committee we have a um, aesthetics committee we have an infrastructure committee and all these committees meet separately um, and get things done and then they'll we have a Facebook forum where we collaborate on the final details of everything so this is all like happening all at once and so it's like you know you got like at least two meetings a week um, two to three choreography practices a week. I uh, start by just doing dry runs and marking and writing the choreography and then moving on to wet runs and then you do wet run and you realize oh when this is on fire we can't do those three moves so let's rewrite the choreography. So then you're back to the drawing board and you're rewriting the choreography and you know things change once you add the theatrical elements interacting with different characters so it's, it's a constant process of moving forward and then taking a step back and then Reassimilating new information so it's like you're never working on fixed truths it's like all truths are changeable because um, we're like one big amoeba as a group that's constantly affecting and interacting with itself and rebirthing itself and reimagining itself that's yeah it's a really it's, we're crazy <laughs> we're crazy for getting putting this much energy into something that is just a purely creative endeavor.